Hello, I'm David Hurst, CTO of Athena Security, and today we're going to talk about how you can use the new debugger features in Athena Firepack that will help you to solve traffic flow problems in your firewall. How many times has someone come to you and said, I can't get to my email. Is the internet down? Of course the internet is not down, but there is likely a problem in the firewall rules that's preventing access to the email server. Finding the reason that caused the problem can be a difficult proposition. Let's see how Firepack simplifies the debugging process. We'll start with a trivial example in which the user is not able to make an SMTP connection to the mail server. I'll select the firewall in question from the firewall inventory. Then I'll use the new debug feature to trace the traffic flow through the firewall. I'll enter the user's IP address as the source 216.74.18.32 and the IP address of the mail server as the destination 62.59.14.163 I'll select the SMTP protocol for the service and issue the query. The debugger result shows us the security rule which allows SMTP access. When I select this rule, the traffic flows allowed by the rule are displayed below. In this case, there is the single packet that I queried for. When I select the traffic flow item, the NAT rules and routes associated with the flow are shown. Now I see the problem. The public IP address of the mail server is being incorrectly translated to an IP on my internal network. Since the mail server is located on the DMZ, this address translation is in error. As we see in the NAT rules viewer, this address translation is located on line 212 of the firewall configuration. I'll switch to the firewall details view and take a look at the configuration at line 212. Here we see the actual static command which is in error. Fixing this will now be pretty straightforward, and I should be able to restore connectivity for my users in no time at all. Now let's look at a more complicated example. Instead of investigating a single packet, this time I want to trace the behavior of entire subnets through the firewall. I've already selected my firewall of interest, so I'll just invoke the debug operation. I'll enter the source as a subnet 28.21.118.0 with a default net mask of 255.255.255.0 and the destination is a subnet 10.124.231.0 and I'm interested in the services HTTP and HTTPS. Now I'll run the query. The debug result shows that several security rules are involved in this traffic flow. Most of these show specific addresses for the sources and destinations. However, the last rule appears to be very general. If I select this one to view the specific traffic flows, I see a very complex pattern of ranges that are allowed. These ranges are created by the specific subranges allowed by the preceding rules. So what this tells me is that I have a number of rules that are special cases of a more general rule. If I want to make any changes to the firewall's behavior for HTTP between these subnets, I'll have to look at all of these rules to ensure that everything is being done correctly. Next, let's look at how we can use Firepack to debug changes to a configuration. The compare rule and object operation has been upgraded for configuration debugging to show the impact of changes to rules and objects on the behavior of the firewall. I'll select the firewall I want to examine from the inventory and invoke the compare rule object operation. This asks me to select the configuration files that will be compared with the configuration already imported in the inventory. I'll select the files and run the comparison. This generates an Excel spreadsheet that presents the results of the comparison. The service object tab shows me that the object called mail services has been modified to add a member for the IMAP4 service. When I look at the security rules tab, I see that this change to the mail services object has affected two security rules. So far, so good. But what is the effect on the behavior of the firewall from these changes? The Policy tab shows me that the IMAP4 service is now being allowed from the source address 192.168.9.2 to a range of destinations. 
Now I see the impact these simple configuration changes have on the traffic flow through the firewall. In this video, we've seen how Athena Firepack Configuration Debugger can be used to troubleshoot common problems in firewall configurations in an offline mode without placing unnecessary data on the network. For more information, please see our website at www.athenasecurity.net or send an email to sales at athenasecurity.net.